Paranormal Activity, it's a staple of Halloween and now it's like the Paranormal Activity Trilogy. So let's review the third one. Paranormal Activity 3. All right, so if you remember, I really loved the first Paranormal Activity movie. I really liked the second Paranormal Activity movie. I had a couple issues with it, but I still loved it. The third one's a bit of a mixed bag for me. First of all, this one's a prequel. It takes place in 1988, and it shows the two girls that were in the first and the second movie. It shows how this all happened. There were things I liked in this movie. Is it a creepy movie? Yeah, it still carries the torture of being a creepy-ass movie. However, if you remember, I praised the first one for not having jump scares. You know, it relied on your psychology to freak you out and that feeling of not being safe. No jump scares. I really liked that this one has a few. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that it was relying on jump scares at a point. And I hated that. I felt like paranormal activity was like signing everything away to the enemy. Yeah, you know, stuff like... Boo! <laughs> Gotcha, jabronis. And I was like, ah, come on, dude. Just, you know, have the demon terrorize the kids. What, you don't have a sweet tooth mask at your house? Well, you, sir, are letting the best in life pass you by. And at first, the demon felt a little playful. I was like, he's not menacing. He's just kind of there. Which plays into the story, and that's fine. And then this thing gets pissed off, and you're like, all right, now we're talking. Now it's paranormal, and there's activity. And from there, it was really cool, and I really thought it was awesome. It was creepy, but it showed a lot, so it wasn't creepy like the first two were. Like my brother, my sister-in-law, me, we went to this movie. My sister-in-law and I are like, all right, the paranormal activity activity movies. It's on. These are awesome. We love them. And we both agree that the first two were actually scarier, but the third one had the cooler moments. Like there are these things that happen. You're like, that is awesome. Scary? No, no, it's not scary. Cool though. Like I said, mixed bag. And then the end of the movie happens and I felt like it showed way too much. I keep saying that about this movie, but this is the line. I was like, you're officially showing me way too much. I don't like knowing everything. When you explain everything away, the intrigue's gone. I don't like knowing that the force is metachlorians. You know what I mean? Like, you know, at the end of the first paranormal activity, the girl goes downstairs and she starts screaming her ass off and the guy goes down there and there's no camera down there so you don't know what's going on it was creepy as hell right it was freaky you're like what's happening imagine there's a camera down there that kind of happens in this movie i didn't really like the end it's just that's just me so good acting again a good premise it has a lot of cool tricks that aren't in the first two you know they step it up but it does show a bit too much at times and it goes to cool rather than scary it had a lot more jump scares in this one <laughs> without a sweet tooth mask but still i will say it's a good time no alcohol required see it it's a great halloween movie if you like the first two you have to watch this one however i call bullshit on one big thing the movie takes place in 1988 and is filmed in high def and widescreen on a home camcorder? I call bullshit. That's officially nitpicking, but I'm just saying. So do you like the paranormal activities? What's your favorite paranormal activity movie? Comment below, let me know. And if you go on my YouTube page, go to playlist, you'll find a playlist that says Happy Halloween. There I put a bunch of YouTube videos and reviews that have to do with Halloween movies. So watch, enjoy, after all, it is Halloween. <laughs> and as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.